Alrighty, everybody. Here we are with another week of FCS football, baby. And we're here. We're ready. Week number six. That's right. We're in that home stretch of the season. And now North Dakota, those fighting hawks of North Dakota, control their own destiny with Tommy Schuster in the front lines leading this North Dakota team against number four, North Dakota State. The biggest game of the weekend. I am indeed watching this game. Yeah, March Madness is going on right now, but um, this is a big, big game. And I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you, you know, this North Dakota team is talented. This North Dakota team is truly the number one team in the country. Again, like I said last week, I don't think James Madison or Weber State are the number one team, you know, in some people's minds right now. This is the team that is number one. And they have just played good on offense and good on defense. Just a damn good team these Hawks are. North Dakota State is struggling. You know, they have a bit of, you know, it's it's a younger team this year for the Bison. But, you know, they, 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 they haven't been the Bison that have been dominating, you know, teams for the last decade. This is a different team this season. And, I, and, of course, you know, things may be back to normal in the fall with the Bison. But right now, I don't think, you know, I don't think this team is all the way there. I think they'll still be in the playoffs probably. But I don't think, you know, they're all the way there. I think this North Dakota team may be more or less pretty much close to complete in my eyes. It is a damn good North Dakota team. If you aren't watching this game, I don't know what's wrong with you. You need to. You need to. So, you know, they're just getting it done. They're getting it done out there. And, you know, guys, I mean, this is just going to be, this is just going to be great for North Dakota. I mean, they, 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 they've just been a damn good team all season long. You know, they got players all over the field like Garrett Mag and Wea. Um, they're running back. You know, they're, they're just a fun team to watch. Just a damn fun team. Um, you know, I mean, Zeb Nolan hasn't been great for the Bison. You know, the run game for the Bison has been all right, but I mean, nobody's really breaking out. I mean, it's just, it just hasn't been, you know, just hasn't been the greatest. It just hasn't been the greatest for them. So, there's some other teams that are indeed ranked, including those Jackson State Tigers. So, you know, we have to be subjected to another ESPN, you know, game on an ESPN network. Not ESPN Plus, but an ESPN network. You know, I believe it's ESPNU. But instead, you know, instead of getting, you know, the actual best matchup of the weekend on, you know, like an ESPN2, ESPNU, ESPN News, we get stuck with another Jackson State game. Such is the fate um, for the FCS, you know, half the time. But VMI Sanford is going to be good because VMI is just like, what in the world? Where in the world did they come from? Where did they come from? Because they looked awful for years. They've been awful for years. But now, this team is damn good, too. And, you know, Liam Welch, you know, he has been playing pretty damn good out there on that field. Um... You know, for these, um, for those Sanford Bulldogs, um, but the Cadets, you know, they are a tough, they are a tough cookie. So, you know, th that's going to be fun as well. Uh, again, Jackson State is ranked. They'll be taking on Alabama State, but I don't really care about this game. I've had enough of Jackson State for right now. You know, there's no point in, in talking about this team right now because there's, I mean, again, there's just no point. So Chattanooga, Furman, that is going to be one hell of a game. That is going to be the game I'll be watching first. Both these teams are ranked. Um, Chattanooga is unbeaten. And, you know, again, this is going to be fun. Um, there's also another ranked matchup. That's right. There's another one. South Dakota State, Southern Illinois. And... 
you know, this is just crazy even for this conference, you know. And I mean, this could be a playoff elimination game right here. The South Dakota State Southern Illinois game. I think North Dakota State has enough to where they could be able to get in. But I don't think, you know, one of these two teams will. Southern Illinois already has a loss. South Dakota State already has a loss. So whoever loses, you may be out. Um, you know, and here's an interesting thing. You know, Dixie State, they're still doing their thing out there. They're still doing their thing out there at St. George, Utah. Um, they'll be taking on Kennesaw State. So the Big South is having some trouble, you know, getting their schedule, you know, completed and stuff like that. Uh, and also some other conferences as well, like the Patriot League, also having a little bit of struggle out there. Um, but this game is impromptu, I believe. I don't think I saw this on the schedule initially for either of these two teams, but you know, Dixie State still out there trying to play, tr trying to get it together for you know the spring campaign heading into the fall. Um, another big-time game from the Southland. Southeast Louisiana, Incarnate Word, both these teams are ranked. And now, you know, you know, these next few games for, you know, the Incarnate Word is going to be going to be interesting because their next few opponents are ranked. They are only ranked number 22 in the country. So, you know, I wonder how this game is going to go. I'm not going to be able to watch this game. I'm not doubling up. You know, it's been harder to double up with the ESPN Plus games <laughs> due to the you know the quality of streams and stuff like that. So can't do that. Um, Sam Houston State, Lamar, that's going to be fun. Northern Iowa, Missouri State, also going to be pretty fun. You know, and um, on Sunday afternoon, of course, you know, there's a couple more games. Murray State, ranked Murray State. You know, how in the world is that going to be? For you know, for these two teams, oh. there's actually an interesting story with their kicker, um, Tennessee State's kicker. For um, um, what a one of one of the rare moments of kickers actually being good. <laughs> you know, um, Antonio Zeta Zeta um, had a 62-yard field goal, um, you know, and then a 35-yard game winner a couple minutes later. Hey, that's pretty good stuff right there. You usually don't see that. You usually don't see kickers being clutch anymore. So that's pretty cool. Um, Jackson Steel State, you know, has been a very interesting team. They continue to roll along. I'm starting to get a little bit less interested in them right now, too. Along with Jackson State, you know, they, they, they've been just winning games day in and day out, you know, each and every week. And, um, yeah. Well, I wonder if Southeast Missouri State is going to give Jacksonville State, you know, a little bit of a run for their money. And um, let's see, is there anything else here? There is not. There is not, so that'll do it. Um, there was also a receiver that, you know, passed away from Charles and Southern, um, Joe Bradshaw. Um, condolences to him. Um, he passed away, uh, by, um, I believe it was either this week or last week, it said Thursday night, so I'm assuming, yeah, that must have been last night, um, because the story's from today, but, um, you know, oh, condolences come from here, you know, it's always a painful time to, you know, you know, hear that a football player has died, and it's just, Rather unfortunate, so I don't know what's happening. I'm not sure what I'm not, there's not, you know, completely everything with the story, you know, coming out. But sorry, it's hard to explain. I'm, I'm always terrible at explaining stuff, but um, there's not much information right now. We do know that he's he is gone from this world, which is rather unfortunate. Um, I believe Charleston Southern may be playing this week. I don't know. I don't know think they are but you know yeah it's a tough break for um, Charleston Southern but to end this video off you know let's have a good weekend this weekend you know there's obviously March Madness going on that may overshadow these games a little bit but I did want to get this video out
today before you know anything else happened and yeah that's gonna do it here and i'll see you guys next time that will be you know probably sunday monday you know somewhere around that time to discuss these fcs games and the first weekend because oh boy stuff is happening in the first weekend of march madness see you see you everybody see you later